In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be showing you a nice, effective five-man pressure scheme from the Big Nickel OG. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, my YouTube channel is centered around how can I help you and help myself get better at this game. We all love calling Madden 21. Uh, it's very tough this year to get pressure, but I want to. Ho I hope that I can help you here in today's video, give you a couple of concepts uh, that you can use. So we post four times a day here on YouTube, and so if you're looking for some tips, some strategies, uh, some tactics to help your game get better, I'd encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen and also if you have Madden 21 specific questions you can always text me my number is 812-216-3644 alright guys big nickel over G basically what we're gonna do is in you don't have to do it this specific way but essentially what I like to do is put in your fastest player at this right side for the Packers that's Perry Nickerson and then I like to put safeties in at the linebacker position here so we're going to put Darnell Savage and Adrian Amos in. And then you want your best pass rusher to be uh, either, you know, on either end. So for this, we're going to put Zedaria Smith in here. And we're going to come out in the play uh, SS Blitz 2. All we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defense by hitting R1 and flicking the uh, left stick down. We're going to crash our line down. And then we're going to just simply stand in this gap right here uh, with Savage. Now you can QB contain. You see if we QB contain, but if you QB contain, I want to encourage you to recrash your line down after you QB contain so that there's only one contain on the field. You're going to see here at the snap of the ball, um, you're typically going to get either a gap or edge pressure from this. This is a little finicky in practice mode, but in game, I'm telling you this works really, really well. Um, again, I like to recrash my line down after. Uh, I, after I QB contain with your linebacker, you just kind of want to stand right in this gap right here. Um, all, as long as he's blitzing to that side, and then you're just going to let him take a couple steps down, and then you're going to go back into coverage. And typically, this pressure uh, will be very, very effective for you. Now, another spot that you can kind of hover with your linebacker, you can hover in multiple spots and for this, and it'd be effective. But basically, what you're trying to do. Um, is trying to basically get this left side lineman to pay attention to you. You can hover with like right in here if you want to. You can put him kind of right in this position right here, snap of the ball, and you'll see the pressure uh, will be able to come in. Now again, this pressure does work a lot better in uh, in head-to-head -head mode than it does in practice mode, at least in my personal opinion. A lot of it has to do with the placement. I really like to get him like right close off the edge because I want this blitz to scream. I want it to come in quick. And so, you know, when I do like this, let him go down, take a couple steps, and there you see there's the heavy, there's the good pressure that we want to get. So, you know, a lot of it does kind of uh, entail, you know, where do you place this guy? And really what I would do is literally just run him right next to him, let him auto reset. Uh, and let him let him auto reset so you see right here and then we're going to come down in here just like so with savage kind of stand right in this gap and you're going to let him take about two steps down and then go into coverage and you'll see you're either going to get the you see how they kind of fight on the a gap if they don't get on off the edge most of the time you will get edge pressure uh from this in in game like i said practice much just a little bit finicky with the way they pick up the uh the blitzes this year and i've been running this a lot in practice mode, so that's part of it but you'll see there, there you get that. Uh, you're either going to get that gap edge or or a gap pressure. So, fairly good heat from the big nickel over G. Just wanted to give you this setup um, if you haven't already gotten it. Again, I personally, you don't have to. You can also crash your line out if you want. Um, you don't have to crash them down. I just think crashing down is the most effective for me uh, because you see there, I get a lot more of the the caught up animations whenever I crash out than whenever I crash down. So, anyways, guys, big nip, big nickel over G pressure. Um, pretty solid, honestly, uh, especially um, with the fact that there has some really, really good pass pass defenses. You see there, once you once they kind of pick up that you're the, and that's part of you know the hovering, but you want to put your player on a blitz angle, and then you want to kind of get him down. Once they recognize that oh he's a you know he's a blitzer he's going to come in, then and if you can get him on a contain, which normally is going to be kind of tricky to do, but if you get him right in here, you see he's on the contain. Snap of the ball, let him come down just a little bit, and the, deep, the the offensive line will overreact oftentimes to your user rush, and it's going to allow a little bit of a window for you to get that edge pressure. Like I said, this works really, really good, um, really, really good in game. One other thing you can uh, mess around with this is putting an auto flip on. Um, you can always have the pressure, and then you can also man a line out of this as well to create some different coverage, coverage techniques. But just basically you want them to kind of 
you want them to kind of pick you up on the left side and then what it's going to allow is it's going to allow them to pick up the overload so a lot of it does have to do with where you hover um, there's a couple schools of thought you can hover here you can hover here or you could even hover like right in here and right in here is probably honestly best you can go down right in here and then come back out but just mess around with the hovering guys like i said this works really really well in game uh, when you play a head-to-head -head match with this this defense is really really solid um especially and i like i said i like to i like personally to crash but if you crash them out you can see here um, you're, you're going to be okay. You see, you're going to get some kind of pressure either way. So that's just a little bit of bidding nickel over G. I've got some other stuff out of it. I'll be dropping soon. So make sure you stay subscribed to the channel. You see how he kind of auto comes in here just like this. And if you contain, he's going to come off the edge. That's actually really unique to this formation. Uh, and so there you see he gets that pressure. So just some stuff to play around with a big nickel over G. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you haven't already subscribed, I want to ask you to do that. Also jump in the Discord. Discord, um, a link to that is in our description. If you haven't picked up the ebook, we just updated it. We got some updates coming soon in the ebook with some of the pressure that we've been dropping. Um, so be sure to pick that up. The big nickel over G will be one of the updates to the ebook soon. Um, we're working on some pressure, pretty unique blitzing scheme out of here, honestly. So just some good stuff coming on the channel. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. But also make sure to pick up that Madden 21 competitive bundle guide. It's my full 4-6 defensive playbook, which this, this formation is actually in it. It's also got my full Arizona Cardinals offensive ebook. So if you haven't picked those up, be sure to do that. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you have not already catched a live stream, we'll be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on YouTube.